Nope. Welcome to Tangerine Ralph Studio 3. I'm Will. I'm Xander. I'm Liam. I'm Kay. Melissa. And I'm Kevin. And this is the Saturday, Saturday Morning Board Game, Game Show. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in with us this morning. We're excited to be back for another first Saturday of the month uh, board game show. We got a bunch of stuff to show off today. We got some games over here on the couch and over on the table. <laughs> All right. This took him a month, but he did it. <laughs> it did. It took me a couple months. If you haven't done that, you Be a part of that. One more shout out today is Kevin's birthday. Happy birthday, Happy Kevin! Birthday. Let us know in the comments how old you think Kevin is. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Will, can you run through some of that again because the audio? We miss the audio oh, every time. It wasn't my fault. The computer slowed down. Oh, she said it wasn't her fault at the switch. So later in the show so stick around for that and uh, I think we're ready to give some shout outs to our sponsors you want to do some shout outs mostly Kevin sure all right so we have Burnt Island Games and Ooh. they just announced that they're going to be coming out with a new Kickstarter for Fall of the Mountain King. Which is a prequel, not Instead an April Fool's Fall. joke. That's right, right. there were quite a few to... uh, April Fool's jokes. So there isn't a lot of information out about it yet, but keep looking and I'm sure Burnt Island Games will be telling us more about what to expect in Fall of the Mountain King. And then we have Scrap Racer we're gonna talk about from Queen Games, another one of, our, another one of our sponsors, and we're gonna throw it over to the table for the up with Star Wars Talisman. Hey guys, tell us about it. Hey, all right, so we've got Star Wars Talisman here. Talisman Star Wars. Yes, you corrected I corrected him. And you guys Mount Dooku, Kylo Ren. Uh, a couple well, I'm not as familiar with, the Seventh Sister and Grand Inquisitor, so please fill me in if you know who those people are. Uh, but you also have Luke Skywalker, Ezra Bridger, Ahsoka Tano, yeah, Obi-Wan, yeah, Darth yeah. Vader, of course. Uh, and then you've Darth got... Maul. And Darth Maul. So I think these are pulling, the characters are pulling from like the movies and some of the, like the Mandalorian is, yeah. is in here, and um, some of the... Uh, is it pulling from any of these? It's coming from Rebels and... Uh, uh, that other one. And uh, that other one. I'm watching it right now, if you couldn't tell. Okay. Um, <laughs> cool. But yeah, some of the animated ones, you have characters in here from that as well. It's their own character. According to your alignment, talisman. You roll the die, you move your character one direction or the other, and then based on where you land around the board, you then have an encounter, and you'll flip over the encounter and maybe things uh, that it's going to be credit or it's going to be something that you have to face and defeat. Uh, you've got a lot of the classic spaces out here like Tatooine, Coruscant, yep. Naboo. Naboo, yes. Mm -hmm. what, uh, what are you trying to do ultimately though? Uh, you're trying to actually get all the way around the board and there's some spaces on the board where you can kind of move up ring to ring, uh, which I think is similar to the other Talisman right. games. And then once you get to the middle, I'm going to be Dark Maul for this. Once you get to the middle, you are uh, getting into the space that's named the Citadel Throne of the the Emperor. And that's kind of your final Yes, if you manage to do that, battle. you are the winner of the game. Uh, this game has some nice little mini 
figures in it of all the different characters. Pretty good detail going on there. Uh, Darth Maul has lots of little spiky spots all over his mini. That's pretty yes. great. Um, but yeah, this is this is Talisman, really, if you're familiar with Talisman. The galaxy and all over the movies or the media that they all right, so we're looking at the game Box Monster from Mandu Games. This is a fun little fan. Monster. When you start the game, you're gonna. We already put a lot of pieces in there, but you put all the pieces in. I think there's like three or four of each kind, so you're gonna put them in, drop them. You can shake it up a little bit, but oh, we already shake did it. it. Oh, we did shake it. So this is the actual box. It comes with a sleeve. That's how it's packaged. Yeah. And then when you open the box up, you get this crazy monster. Yeah. And then yes. there are the cards on top, and every piece, like um, cardboard cutout piece. Is like a gun or a phone. A unique shape. Or yeah, chocolate or something that you can feel the different kinds of shapes on it. Like lollipops. <laughs> Got two. And then when you start the game, you're gonna have the sand timer and you're gonna three, two, one. And then you're gonna flip this and I think also the card. Yeah, flip over the card. Are we gonna do it? Sure. Okay, ready, go. So we have to find a pizza. Two pizzas. Two match. pizzas. And we gotta like communicate with each other. Oh, I don't find pizzas. I feel lots of fingers. I know. It's really hard. <laughs> it is really hard. This is my big hand in here. Uh, we gotta find two pieces. When we think we found them, which I have not found any pieces yet. Wait, I think I found one. Is no, I dropped in here? it. Oh, no, drop it. You gotta find the pieces and then pull them out at the same time. Oh, I might have found one. I hope I found one. I think I found one. Okay. You think anybody else got one? I don't think I got one yet. Are we allowed to have two hands in the box? I'm not supposed to pull it out yet. <laughs> I just cheated. You gotta find the pizzas. This is harder than I thought it would be. It is harder. Oh wait, where's your hand at? Here. Okay, and then when you find the pizzas, you say, what did you pull it out? Yeah! You got it, and then you go on to the second one. We're not even gonna make it. You gotta find a chocolate. chocolate and an alarm Wait. Oh, is this chocolate? I got a chocolate. Okay, we should go. Aha, uh -huh. all right, and an alarm clock. We should probably have worked as a team and had Xander looking for the clock while we were looking for the chocolate. You gotta find okay, the ball. I found the clock. I know, we're almost out of time. Hurry, find the clock. Okay, I found the clock. I didn't find the clock. I'm gonna find the clock. Oh, I can't get anything fixed. I think find this one? is the clock. Hurry, we only have like two seconds left. No, I don't think this is the clock. Oh, don't lose it. I think. Is the clock bigger than it feels? I think I got a clock. Anybody else? I think I got a clock. Where'd you go? Yeah! No. Oh! oh <laughs> they do feel but the same. If you can get through I all three, uh, once you get to this one, you have to What's the hand thing do? I don't remember. I, <laughs> I think you have to like, uh, when you have the little hand symbol, you have to pull them out in ah. order. No, so there's an order one somewhere. But basically you reset for the round and then there are different levels of cards. Uh, the pink ones, the pink ones are in order. So you have to actually pull them out in the order that's shown on the card, which sounds really hard, but I think you only have to do one at a time. Yeah. So you can be like, all right, I found the clock. I got the duck. Hurry up and get the chocolate so we can get back to it. Yeah. What are the orange ones? The orange ones are the hardest. Oh. You can only see like the shape. Like this will be the gun. And you can't kind of talk. Obvious. I have no idea. The not talking part is hard. And you, you can't like, talk at all. So you're like, which one are we going for? And yeah. I don't even know. You got to pull them out at the same time. Yeah. And then there's this one's like the uh, the phone and the lollipop. Have you guys like ever that. played it as just two player? No. You should try it as two player and see what we get. Okay. When you play two player, you have to. All right, ready, set. Oh, wait, let's go. Just go. Right. Oh, just you get to stick two hands. Oh, I already found a gun. Stick oh. one hand in each well, side. I have to find a gun. One hand in that side. Yeah. Oh. You get one hand in each hole, which means you have to think about two brain things at the same time and see if you can pull them out. Did you find a gun? We need two guns. Hurry, go. I already have a gun. I, I think gun. I have a gun. All right, no, go. No, no, this out. is not a gun. This is not a gun. Ah! <laughs> I think I have. No. What is this? Right? You gotta find the two things, pull them out, and then with two players, you have twice as many options. I definitely found the gun. All right, good. Okay. Give your second hand a gun. You can pull both of them out, even if you're the same player, yeah. you're just gonna get two. Oh. oh, I like how the hair, I just noticed that, lines up right there with the middle of the swirl. Yeah. <laughs> so that is Box Monster. Uh, these guys were playing with the neighbors, and they were all crazy and loud last night, having lots of fun.
But if you're interested in that, check it out from Mandu Games. And then I think we're going to head back to the table. I haven't looked to see if they're ready. What do you guys got over there? A little break in. Head back to the couch. Hey, all right, so before we jump into break-in, we just kind of want to make sure everything's looking good for the feed, for the volume. We're, we're looking good. I'm getting a thumbs up. Um, I saw a comment about the size of the talisman board. It is a pretty big board. This is a small table, though, so uh, this is about four feet. Uh, sure. We'll go with that. Um, maybe three I and a half. Three. three by three. Three by three. Uh, so, break-in is a follow-up to... Break in Alcatraz. This is Break in Area 51, and it is by Play Monster Games. It is a puzzle solving type of game where you're trying to get in. You are actually playing as an alien, trying to break into Area 51 to get your spaceship and get off of Earth. Uh, so, this is. They rate this a three out of four on difficulty. If you saw our video on Break in Alcatraz, check that out. That was a two out of four. Uh, so this is definitely... You played them both. I've played them both. Is this one harder? This is harder, okay. but it, it's not like every single puzzle is just going to rack your brain. Some of the puzzles were just as easy as break-in, but some of them were definitely harder. Um, but I think it made sense. The, the flow was logical. Uh, the puzzles made sense as we went through it. Um, I have to say, this is my first time seeing the game out of the box. Yep. And I'm impressed well, we'll show them, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You'll see in a second. Well, let, let's do it. Okay, perfect. Um, so the game starts, uh, and you've got this box that's going to be all sealed up, and you're going to look for clues all over the board. So, like, there's a little clue here. Uh, you might find a clue over here. You just, you're looking everywhere. The whole box is a clue trying to figure out. You uh, maybe puzzles. They're going to give you storyline of what you're looking for, different things like that. So as you find clues, you find the card that goes with it, and then you try and figure that out. Uh, we've got some different pieces here. Need it? It's there. Uh, got some alien cows. Cows. Yeah. Cows, cows. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but the box. You wanna you wanna do I us do. the honors. So once I do. the game will tell you, all right, check out the next step of the box. And it opens up. It does open up. And all these come down. And I think that might even open up as well, right? Yeah, we don't want to give away too much right. here. But yes, this box will then open up and you're doing the same thing. You're looking for clues. You're trying to find what all this means as the cards tell you different things. This box will open up again, and there's another box inside of that that opens up again. So pretty soon you've got three, four layers laying out here of puzzles, and you have to figure out what you're trying to do with that. Uh, this game uses these clue sticks to figure out whether you're right or wrong. So one of the things you'll be looking for is a symbol. You'll be looking for a color as well, and then a number. And all of that points to different slots on the board. You slide this down, and you're not really going to be able to see it, but ultimately you're going to look and say, oh, okay, yeah, I got the right symbol showing up in this teeny little box down here. And that tells you the next card to go to. That means you're right. Or if you're wrong, it's going to give you a different symbol and send you to a hint card. Uh, so everything you need in this game is right here. You don't have to go to a website, you don't have to do anything else, it's all right here in the box. People are saying, uh, Callians. Callians, yeah that fits. Callians. We've, they're Cal definitely modified, um, they're double-sided. This one has, um, has a TV screen for a head. Uh, you've got some kind of, I don't know what, coming out of its back. So lots of different fun things with the cows. Um, fun storyline, it, it was not taking itself too seriously by any means. Um, different types of challenges. You've got kind of the logical. Wow. You're technically not supposed to look in there, but whoa! Pretend he didn't I, do that. I told. I showed you guys. <laughs> Sorry. Spoilers. Um, yeah, you, you've got different types of puzzles. You've got. Uh, you can see a little piece here. Things that you physically have to put together, and that unlocks something else. Sometimes it's just. Um, logic type puzzles, so variety of puzzles there. 
I think we've got one more thing we're gonna look at here. Um, if I could get the box, the other box, you get a Let's two for one it. on this session. Two for one and a giveaway. Jonah, you wanna talk about that for a I second? I sure do. So uh, I know our audio was messed up just a little in the beginning, but I believe we are asking how, it's Kevin's birthday today. So we're asking you in the comments to tell us how old Kevin is and the closest without going, closest without going over? No, it can't be that. Uh, just the closest person. We're gonna give away a copy of Taco Cat. Taco Cat. Uh, is the official name of this Taco Cat spelled backwards? Yes. Yes. Okay, Taco Cat spelled backwards. And I, sometimes these games have like sub names and I don't know. But anyway, Taco Cat spelled backwards. This is uh, a game by Exploding Kittens. We're actually about to talk about it, but this one is all sealed up for a winner in the comments. You just gotta tell us how old Kevin is today. Whew, I don't know. I'm not gonna throw any guesses out. I don't wanna throw people off. Uh, so this is a really simple game, but uh, it's a two player game. Everybody's gonna get uh, seven cards. And then, you play a card. So you've got different numbers. So I've got the Evil Olive, number 10 here. Um, just a lot of different cards. I play a card. Jonah now has to play a card that is higher or equal to my 10 in order to defend himself. Okay. If you cannot do that, you have to play the lowest card in your hand. Okay. All right, that 11. So he beats me that round. That means he gets to go first. He beat me with Ma has a ham. All right, so he chose to play a two. I'm gonna go ahead and beat his two, I think with a seven. Now I get to go. You're gonna go back and forth until let's get down to one card, Jonah. Okay. And then you both play the card. Oh, yes. All right, so Jonah won. He had a nine that beat my eight and he then gets to move his little taco cat one space closer to himself. Now these numbers mean we're gonna draw six cards in the next round. Cool. If it went here, we'd draw nine cards. Uh, the arrows indicate that certain people can choose to replace cards in their opening hand. Nice. Uh, so you get a little bit of um, choice there, but you definitely wanna strategize with that high-low thing because ultimately having the high cards is going to win you the game, but sometimes you're forced to play those low cards. Yep. Forced to play the high, high ones if you want to win. Uh, the other thing with this is when you win, you fill in the space with a stack of cats. So now even if I won a round, you go would, all the way over? Yep, it would jump that. Wow, crazy. Yeah, so then if you won, it would jump all the way back. So you'd, you'd keep doing that back and forth. Uh, so that is Taco Cats. Spelled backward. Spelled backwards. Mm -hmm. Uh, by the makers of Exploding Kittens. And again, what do they have to do to win? All you've got to do in the comments is tell us how old Kevin is today because it's his birthday. And we want to know how old you think he is because that's fun. Cool. So right. if you are uh, going to do that, you'll be entered and we'll pick that by the end of the show. Pick the winner of Taco Cat spelled backwards. But I think right now we're ready to head back over to the couch with Sarah and Melissa. And they're going to talk about something ethos well no hello hello we are talking about the new expansion to eco's first continent called new horizon uh, everything out on the table is what comes in the expansion box there are quite a few additional cards of both the brown and the blue cards um, there are several new landscape features that you can now create in the game. We've got the Sahara, Kilimanjaro, Madagascar, the Congo, Serengeti, and the Nile River. So that corresponds to these specific um, tiles that come in this new box. And the main thing is the new Mount Kilimanjaro uh, Pretty cool. It, looks it is. Hefty. It, it is very hefty, and it covers three different tiles when it is placed, which can be important to gameplay. Uh, the in Ecos, you are you have these cards in down in front of you, and they have a specific requirement for uh, what you need to collect, and you will be 
pulling out tokens out of the bag and hoping that you can uh, gain the right stuff. Everybody is using the tiles that are pulled out of the bag, so it's kind of like bingo type. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you have uh, little cubes that you're placing on the cards to mark when you mm -hmm. used that token. Yep. So, um, so this is from the base game. So you're still using the same ones. There um, are a couple of new symbols that come with it. And then there's also some new animals. We have zebras, water buffalo, slash crocodile. So that's um, an aquatic um, animal and hyena and giraffe. Um, I believe the um, water buffalo can also go near um, if you they're double sided so mm -hmm. you can choose which one you would like to use which is kind of cool yeah and if you're not familiar with ecos I know Sarah was telling a little bit about it um, the cards that you have that you're placing the cubes on to show that the the little tokens have been pulled from them you're then using powers on those cards to build this um, ecosystem which is going to have a lot yeah. of um, hexes on it and then there are the animal tokens that you're placing on those hexes and depending on your cards you're trying to get animals in certain spots or have animals eat other animals or have terrain in different configurations so it's a lot of um, kind of this community yeah, area and everyone's that everyone's playing building. on the map portion but mm -hmm. you have your own cards that the tiles that you're pulling out bingo style, you're working on these specifically mm -hmm. and you rotate them depending on uh, how you've upgraded and things and then uh, you place the, all the little animal tokens out on the main mm -hmm. board and everyone's fighting for those spots so mm -hmm. makes it very interesting. Yep, and basically most points win. So you're doing all that configuration and moving animals and things to get points. Yep, so Ecos New Horizon is already in stores now, so you can uh, head over to your local game store and check it out. And uh, the base game has been out for a year and a half now or so. Yeah, I, maybe, yeah. maybe probably two, two years. I'm trying to think. I saw it at Gen Con two, two years, years ago. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, New Horizon is out now, so you can check it out. It's got quite a bit more added to the game as far as gameplay makes the board bigger, new goals, new animals and stuff. So uh, we are headed back to the table and uh, Dan and Kevin and probably Melissa's going to yep. jump back over there <laughs> looking at a game that is on Kickstarter right now. Hey, Dan's hey. here because he had some comments. Yeah, just a quick comment about breaking. I saw you guys asking questions about replayability. Uh, for yourself, you're probably not going to play it more than once because once you solve the clues, you, you know what it's doing. I will say I played the other game they had twice, and the second time was after a little while, and I had forgotten some of the answers. But if you want to introduce it to other people and help walk them through that experience, it is a lot of fun to do that as well. But as far as yourself, you're not going to pull it out over and over to play over and over again. So now I will officially give it. All right, I'll see you Jeremy on the other side. All right, over to the other side. That's right, dancing to go set up the other game with Jonah. This game, like Sarah just said, is currently live on Kickstarter. This is a long shot, the dice game from mm -hmm. Perplexed. Melissa and I have an overview video. Yep. And this is a sponsored part of the show. Actually, I think the rest of the show is going to be sponsored stuff because the rest of the show is all going to be Kickstarter stuff. Mm -hmm. So either games that are currently live, like this one, or coming to Kickstarter mm -hmm. very soon. This one is Long Shot the Dice Game. This is actually um, based off of a board game called Long Shot. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is a sort of roll and write version and I have it pretty much set up. I've started like pretending we were starting the game, mm -hmm. so we're not like at the very beginning of the game. Uh, normally you'd have all the horses start at the beginning at the starting line. Everyone gets their own little player aid. And uh, this is a betting um, game where uh, you're gonna try and see how well you do with how fast these horses are gonna go around the racetrack. So uh, the horses move from by these dice. Why don't you roll them? Here we go. So one of the dice has uh, what horse moves and the other dice is how many it moves. So we're gonna move seven, three spaces. One, two, three. And then I have an option of- Oh, nope, something else oh, we do you. first. Then we look at seven, which is the one and the three. 
So each card has other horses that are marked on it, and so we rolled the seven, we look at the card, and it shows that you also move one and three, one space each. And then every player takes an action, and I'm gonna mark off the seven. Melissa, you're gonna mark off something? Here's a thing there, and then... All right, so you have quite a few actions that you can oh, do. Yeah, I'm gonna money. put my money up here. I'm going to take the action where I can bet, and it has to be the number that was rolled. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to bet $3 on that horse and go down to $9. Because at the end of the game, you're going to get money based on how well these horses do. Do you want to uh, bet on the ones who win? <laughs> yes, yes, definitely. Because each one has a payout that it's going to show you on Why don't you board. roll again and just show how these horses move? All right. The, so now the four moves three, and I'm gonna look at the four while she's doing that, and it says here on the four horse, mm -hmm. the two also moves one space. Mm -hmm. And then Melissa can take an action with the four, and I will also take an action with the four. Um, eventually, mm -hmm. you are trying to fill up these rows and columns on your concession stand, and as you do that, you sort of get extra bonuses and things right. like that, like getting more money and moving. Mm -hmm. You get to control horses moving front, yeah. forward, and backward. I'm going to buy the number. I'm going to blow almost blow all my money to buy the number because four. Because these horses have special powers. They do. So now I own the number four. I have a special power when I place a bet. It's free if it's a horse that I don't have a bet on. So oh, I don't cool. have to spend money to bet on that. Very also, nice. if the horse finishes first, second, or third, I'll get money for that, for owning a winning horse. There's also um, some other ways of getting money, not only through how you how well you bet, but also <laughs> there's a jerseys and helmets that basically help you have special powers throughout the game. And as you fill mm -hmm. those in, you're going to get extra money as well. Yeah, I think the, the jerseys are really cool because if you mark off a jersey, so say I mark off the jersey for number five because five was rolled, we then go on to the number five horse, which already has four, but you can mark off a horse. So now when number five is rolled, it's going to move one, four, and six. Yep. So you're getting more movement by marking the numbers that you want on different horses. Yeah. So that is a long shot the dice game currently live on Kickstarter from Perplexed. So check it out. Oh, 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 my birthday! <laughs> oh, wow, cookie cake. Oh, Thank you. I love cookie cakes. So don't forget post what you think you know, Kevin's age is today. I was to win time I was looking in the in the comments and they some of them are pretty funny. I, yeah. So <laughs> I appreciate yeah. that. You made me smile today. And so. if we have multiple people who guess correctly, we'll randomly and choose we from go. those. There we yes, go. Thank you all. I appreciate it. <laughs> Just you remember can't... Kevin's older than me. There we go. Oh, there it is. <laughs> all right. Over to the couch. Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, we are going to be talking about another sponsored game coming to Kickstarter uh, on the 6th, if I'm not mistaken. And today's the 3rd, so three days away. I that's think that's right. Tuesday. Tuesday the 6th. And it's going to be crump, sc <laughs> Scrumpy Card Cider from Invincible Games. So we've got it sitting out on the table here. And this game is a, it's a deck building game. Um, but it kind of differs from the other deck building games in a couple of ways, and it's all really based on the cards So I think we're going to show you a few cards as I kind of walk through it here So one of the ways that it differs is that cards in your deck also serve as your resources and They can be produced like wood and apples and barrels and you can flip a card by sliding it under the correct part of your storehouse Which is like kind of like your player board and it, it'll do that for you. This game is all about you like uh, like producing cider uh, and selling cider. It's uh, it's like you turn your raw materials into cider and, and into those barrels and you can uh, kind of do the manufacturing process while you're doing a little bit of deck building. So another way that the cards differ is that the cards all have a secondary action. So if you're not happy with the options available on the bottom of the card, the secondary action, you can always use it. And you can make that card directly into apples or wood instead of having to use other cards. And then, um, as the cidery owner, you're always able to do an action each round yourself instead of playing a card. And these actions are slightly less efficient because um, they're not as 
kind of like it's like you not being as good as your job but the unique mechanism means you can at the right time always use your like your meeples on your board to complete the actions that you need to kind of keep moving with the with the game so scrumpy card cider is headed to kickstarter on tuesday the 6th they've got lots of cool components i mean yeah. these are these tree components look That's pretty good sweet. nice and colorful there um, the game does come with some coins too. This is just a prototype version of the game, so we don't have all the coins. But I love the fact that the cards kind of have multiple uses. You've got the use that's on the bottom of the card, you've got the resources on the other side of the card. Depending on where you slide the card under your board, it might give you a different use. I think that's really cool. It just gives it a lot, a lot of depth. Um, the theme, I think the game goes with the theme very well of making cider yeah. a manufacturing. You've got like a wooden barrel first player token and um, kind of everything on your on your player board is all about the resources, the apples, the wood, the barrel, stuff like that. So to me, I used to not care very much about themes with games, <laughs> but they're growing on me. Yeah. If they oh, do yeah. a really good job of pairing that theme. It can it, make a game for Yeah, sure. it really can make it. So I'm learning, I'm learning, give me some time. Um, but anyway, yeah. Um, I love games with player aids. I'm a big player aid fan. If it has a lot of symbols and it doesn't give me a player aid, I'm a little upset sometimes. So I love a player aid. This game also comes with a score pad. I'm also a huge fan of score pads. You I don't see those much anymore. Some games I love so much, but then I'm like, they didn't give me a score pad, and right. I hate that. <laughs> Especially when you're playing the game for the first time, because I feel like you can look mid-game at the score pad and remember what actually gets you points to win. Right, right. Where if you don't have that, it's really tough to like, oh, I forgot that thing was 10 points if you had it. Yep. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. So um, I really appreciate that about Scrumpy Card Cider. But anyway, this is, a, again, a game coming to Kickstarter on Tuesday the 6th. And I think right now we're going to head back to the table to talk to Kevin and Melissa about Scrap Racer. Hello, Scrap Racer. We actually talked about this last month on our Saturday morning board game show, but the publisher told us a date, because I think last month we didn't know when it was launching, and they said the date for Scrap Racer from Queen Games is launching April 6th, which is only three days away. So they said, hey, why don't you show it off on the show again? So we frantically placed this out on the table again. So if you really want to watch a little bit more of the gameplay, you can go back to last month's video. We'll, we'll play a few rounds. It's pretty easy, because on your turn, all you're doing is rolling dice. Mm -hmm. You roll one. Oh, sorry, one at a time. Thank Ke you. Woo. Kevin knows how to play. Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. One at a time. So you don't want to bust. And right. if you bust by rolling the same number, whew, one, I rolled a one and a two. And a six. I'm gonna stop. Six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna move my guy nine spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then it's Melissa's turn. All right. Do you have? A... I don't have any boost or anything like that. Okay. Or I don't have any special power with with that one. So. All right. So who am I? I'm this one. Yep. A four. four. She wrote a four. Oh, she's already busted. I already busted. So what happens, Melissa? So I need to go to the deck of cards that has the number I busted on. So three and yep. four. Dan, come join us. Come join you? All right. I pull it and I go zero. But I do get a little green token to um, place on my dashboard. Alright, I won't lean on this. Four, super you put down. Right, so you're the purple player. I'm the purple player. Um, all you do I'm is rolling. you're gonna roll one dice. One die. Okay. Alright, you rolled a four. You can go four spaces. Sure. Or you can roll again. And and not and not roll as a four. As long as you don't roll a four, you'll roll all of these? No, just one at a time. Do I have to roll all of them or can no, I stop? No, you can, you can stop, stop at, at any every point. every point. Is a four good? I mean no. 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 <laughs> A three. a three. So do you want to go seven or do you want to roll again and not roll a three or a four? Oh, okay. oh okay. it's coming to him now. Yeah, okay. Oh, here. Go. Oh, ah. so what happens is you just busted you're, and you see whatever that says and Melissa will tell you what happens. All right, so that is saying that you roll a die and you're going to go backward that many spaces. What? Three. three. Not too bad. One, two, three. Okay. All right, back to me. <laughs> All right. But you do get another green token. I rolled a one. A two and a three. I'm stopping. Five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Melissa. Uh, I learned my lesson from last time. <laughs> last time you busted like every, every time. single time. So far, I haven't busted yet. I have four. four. Four got me last time. We should have pre. Oh, oh man. <laughs> really? really? Melissa does not know how to roll. <laughs> Ooh, I like And my I go for. I actually go forward five. Okay. 
One, two, three, four, five. Wow. And if um if you hit somebody, they would go forward two. Wow, that's a nice card. So All right. I rolled a four. You gave me a little green switch here. Do you have what to get three do? green switches? And then you get a booster of power oh, okay. card. So if you fail enough, like I just did. Yeah, you just now you just mostly get give me I don't move. move. Okay. It's up there. Oh sorry. Here you go, Dan. One of these? No. I think the other card. Oh, oh, oh. Mm-hmm. So you just got all three green switches? What happens? Switch flip it, it over. Flip it over. And that's something you can... Is that the right cards? Can I see that deck? Sure. Anyway, you get special cards. That you can then special use cards. for later. So basically, if you keep failing, you get bonuses that will help you move better in the game. You can move to another player. Nice. Right now? Well, on your turn. On, on your turn. turn, okay. If you don't bust. Okay. So that is a quick, and basically you go around a couple times and... Yeah, there is a catch-up me mechanism with this mm -hmm. game. So when someone crosses the finish line, usually you play three laps. Yep. You draw a card. Do you want to draw one of those sure. finish line cards? And then it will give you information. So this one is saying whoever is in last place gets to move seven spaces. Mm -hmm. So normally uh, when someone completes a lap, it's going to give the people in last place, last second to last place, everyone but first place, some movement. So it's trying to keep it a little tighter. There's also, and we should have seeded these already to us mid-game, but you can get these power-ups that mm -hmm. you gain throughout from landing on the spaces with the tokens, and then they give you like you can re-roll a die, or you can set a die to anything, or you can flip a die to the other side. So then you can push your luck more yes. because you have some powers. Yes, add or, add a, you can add or subtract one to a die that you've rolled. So in this case, you could have turned your four to a five, yeah. gone nine, cool. or kept rolling, that sort of thing. So that's Scrap Eraser, which is coming to Kickstarter April 6th. Once again, this is prototype components. Mm -hmm. So check it out from Queen Games. And we have a little bit more of a um, uh, gameplay in last month's video. Although I did better in this month's video, so just watch this one. <laughs> Over to the couch. Hello, we are talking about a game that will be launching on Kickstarter this month on April 13th. Cellulose from Genius Games, and this is the uh, companion game, I'll call it companion game. Uh, if you remember their game Cytosis talked about animal cells. This one talks about plant cells. So in it's the a game- plant cell biology game. Yes. The only thing I remember about that is that the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Yes. Boom. <laughs> Got it. Still and I feel remember. like because I remembered that, I should just start with some points. <laughs> probably, I'm probably winning already. <clears throat> uh, this game, what I appreciate about this game is even if you don't like science, uh, it's a worker placement game and so you can still enjoy the mechanics of the game because they are done very well. Uh, even if you don't understand all the words like mitochondria and plasma membrane and all those scientific terms that go with the spaces on the board, but it does help you understand what is actually happening during photosynthesis and different plant functions. So uh, you have a number of workers that you will take turns one at a time placing a worker on a space. You may do things like go to the xylem and that is the portion of the plant stem that will suck in water and then there are ways to get um, CO2. You use water and CO2 for photosynthesis. So you'll go to the chloroplasts, which are these spaces, and you will gain uh, tokens that are pieces of the cell wall that you will use to build around the edge, which gives you lots of points. So you're going to have to chain several different um, actions together to get the right resources to be able to do the different cell functions. There are also cards that will come out on the board. Some of these have victory points. Some of them have ongoing powers for the rest of the game. You'll pay what is needed. So to make a seed, you'll have to have three water and two ATP. ATP is what the mitochondria do. That's the energy, the powerhouse. Uh, if you recall from science class. I remember some of these words. Yeah. As I'm looking down, I'm going, oh, I've heard of ribosomes before. Yeah. And a nucleus. I should know this. 
<laughs> so, mm. uh, yes, you'll go here, you'll turn it into ATP, which then you can use to get this, which you'll gain victory points at the end of the game. So, one interesting thing is you will gain some of these uh, resources. There's proteins and there are hormones that you will use to actually grow your plant on the plant board. The more that you grow, these you will gain the benefits uh, every turn, so the beginning of every round, wherever your token has, how far it has gone up the plant, that is where, so if your plant grows all the way over to the top, you'll be gaining six CO2 uh, and seven points yep. at the beginning of every single round, which was is it's huge. You'll use it to do more stuff. So you also grow your roots. The roots will let you collect water every round and then uh, you'll be able to use that to do more functions in the plant. So this is coming to Kickstarter April 13th. Uh, I didn't pull out all the tokens and components. They're similar to the ones in uh, Cytosis, uh, but the mechanics of this game are different. It's, uh, we've got, it is a worker placement game. I feel like this one is much more straightforward as to what your goals are in the game. I think a plant cell is a little easier to understand. We understand how um, photosynthesis works and some of those are a little bit easier concepts than... What really matters though is that hashtag team mitochondria is already... <laughs> <laughs> going That's good. So, nice. I feel like you play this game a few times and then you just caught up on like seventh grade science class. Yeah. Like you're just back. <laughs> <laughs> yep, uh, I'm looking forward to playing this with my kids, and uh, you just got to make them play it every day for like a yeah. month. <laughs> well, I don't like, think you, you passed. To, I don't even know if you need to play it that much. Yeah. We, I had several conversations with my kids, like, why isn't there just a game for this subject? I'm like, well, we need to make it. <laughs> it's much more fun playing a game to learn this stuff than to just to read a book sometimes. So <clears throat> I think it's time to do a roll off for oh, Kyle and Michelle, our our two winners of guessing my. My birthday. And, and, and oh. what was that age, Kevin? The age that they guessed. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle and Everyone Michelle. Everyone scrolling their comments. Scrolling. What, are we, what are you rolling? Kyle's a 1 through 10, and Michelle, you're 11 through 20. Oh, okay. It's an Ka eight. It's an eight. Kyle, you're the winner. Congrats, I think Kyle. it's right by Sarah there. Yep. It's an the win eight. The winning Cat. game. Spelled backward. Taco Cat. So backwards. what you need to do is email Sarah at tantrumhouse.com, S-A-R-A, -A, and send her your mailing address so she can get it to you. Thank you for guessing, everyone, and thanks for making me smile. <laughs> <laughs> Did we have one more giveaway? To That's give for next, next, next month. Oh, we're not giving we already, away today. We're already getting yeah. together giveaways for next right. month. This going to be I tried. a fantastic I episode. Sorry, I tried. Yep. <laughs> yeah, uh, don't forget we have uh, several other games on Kickstarter besides this one. Uh, Long Shot, Scrumpy Card Cider, Scrap Racer, and Cellulosis episode. Ooh. Lots of stuff going on. Yep, and then check out Monday the board game and news from Jonah and Will. Uh, they're adding a new segment. So. Ooh. <laughs> we are. <laughs> to we their are news. adding a new segment. That'd be good. Uh, as I said before, when I went back and watched the news, I thought to myself, wow, these are all the things that I would want to know. So, <laughs> I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying going back and watching it. Like, oh yeah, this is the news I would want from, from board games. Board games. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So, Very it's good. Cool. Good stuff. <clears throat> oh, where'd that, where'd that cookie cake go? I know, we need to go do it's that. Just we, off camera. we need to close the show out, say goodbye. Any other last minute questions before we go and eat a cookie cake? Oh, the newsiest news show. The oh, newsiest yeah. news show. We get we that going viral too. Yes. Yes. That's great. Awesome. Cool. No, I think we're all in good shape. Like we said, uh, check out the news on Monday. Definitely, if, if you want an update on our board game bracket, uh, mm -hmm. I think live in just a few minutes we're gonna have our Elite Eight kickoff. Yeah, so we're down to eight games ha have uh, been voted on. We're getting lots and lots of votes. Three, four, five hundred votes every time we post. We're posting that on Instagram, yeah, on ask. Facebook, and okay. on Twitter. And you can vote for which games. It's like head-to-head -head matchups, and you vote for which game you like to uh, or you think is better. And so we're down to eight. And so that'll go live in just a few moments here. And so stay tuned for that. So that's, We're getting that's really getting close. That's getting us down to the final four, right? 
Oh, yeah. 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 Those yeah. those four games. So whichever four games win, Ooh. whoever has the best bracket gets to pick one of the, those four. And games. you're compiling yep. all this we'll information you. from all the social media. That's right. Okay. Yeah. So I think if I'm not mistaken, Dan, we've got like six people. We have like a first, a second, and like four thirds yeah. right now. First, a second, like four thirds. It's They're close. all tied. It is very close. And so again, what the really? what the uh, reward is is that. The best bracket, which we're doing a point system, right. you get your choice of any of your final four games. Cool. So, um, or any of the final four yeah, games. Yeah, right. any, final any of the <laughs> final four games. So, we're getting down to, uh, we've got eight left. So, we're getting down. So, check that out. It'll be live in just a few very, moments. Very cool. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you so much for joining us today. We look forward to next month, uh, first Saturday in May, for our next Saturday morning board game show. So, hope to see you then. Oh, is this bonus time? Are you time? spoilery stuff? <laughs> they don't want to see spoilery <laughs> stuff. Spoiler, we'll we'll the show is over, it's so only, need to go. It's only been one day, so not everyone who wants yeah, to watch it might have episode watched. Three. So I just asked them, you didn't hear this because it was muted. Have you guys watched Winter, The Falcon and the Winter Soldier? So the question is, if you, episode three. <laughs> if you haven't seen it and turn you don't want to be spoiled, leave, turn off First YouTube off, right do now. Do you like this show? Let's talk about it. <laughs> do we like it? I, I'm honestly asking, do we like it? I like uh, the new Game Changers better. Game Changers? I mean, what is that? Mighty the the Mighty Ducks. Oh, oh, oh. That's on my list. Oh, I saw I Emilio it. Estevez. Isn't that his name? Yeah. yeah. And I was like, it'll get me. So I'll watch, Kevin I'll watch actually it because of that. hadn't seen any Mighty Ducks. No, I've never seen any What? Last week, no. I asked Kevin, good, good. what time period right, did right, you right. live in? So I watched all three movies. They're to, so to good. Yeah, to prep for the TV show. So oh, I, it was, babe. like, let me say, if, if it's been a while for you to watch the show, to watch the movies, then definitely watch the movies again before you watch the show. Because you see little things. Yeah, they do. I am. Flashbacks. I, like, I haven't watched my dad like in a long Cobra time. Kai? It is like Cobra Kai <laughs> ice hockey. Cobra <laughs> Kai <laughs> equals. I, I honestly, equals I honestly feel fun. like that. I haven't seen those movies in years. I'm up to date. Right. I know what happens. I still feel like I, I know exactly. Yeah. Would they go roller skate through the mall? Come right. on. <laughs> all three <laughs> movies. <laughs> Come on. Like, all so movies. good. I'm like, oh, the Mall of America again. Mom now, America we, again. we've yeah. actually only seen the first Game Changers. I think there is a second one available. I'm yeah. going to watch oh. it today. Oh. Did you, which is your favorite Mighty Ducks, Kevin? And now that you don't the pick wrong. Movies. Oh, which of my, which of the team <laughs> do I like? No, which, 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 which movie? Oh, which movie? Which movie? Oh, not number three. There's not a number clear three. and obvious answer. Not <laughs> number three. <laughs> <laughs> The, the number two was interesting because of the Olympics like theme and stuff uh -huh, like that. Uh -huh. It was okay. Uh -huh. um, Only okay? What? <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Number two is the best number two. Oh, Adam like, Banks? We, like this? <laughs> Come on. That's so good. The, the knuckle puck is pretty fun. The knuckle puck? Yeah. Knuckle yeah. Puck. yeah. yeah. So, okay. Anyway, we got yeah. on a uh, Sorry, going Kevin, back to Kevin so, pulled the uh, conversation. I did pull the conversation to that, but let's go. We'll talk about that on our podcast. Okay. Because you guys have like to watch it. it. All right, yeah. yeah. All right. Yep. Put it on the weekend list. Um, but let's go back to talking to our soldier. I think Jonah. Jonah has a great question. It's not sucking me in. Um, mm -hmm. Last night, I didn't watch the whole episode. I fell asleep. What? At the end of episode three. I thought last night was, was there the a best. great twist at the it's end? Not yeah. Was there a different director? It was, it was so slow. What? I was like, I don't need to watch them walk what? into this club for another 15 minutes. Like, no. get in the car, get there. Did, I don't, did I don't you need the light like, flicker, the people walk scenes. in. I saw one. Was I, there more at the end? But is it, Dan, is it good? Is the show good? <laughs> yeah. I don't think it okay, is. Okay. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> sure it is. From a quality standpoint. Quality standpoint. It's done really Marvel well. Quality. Sure. Yeah. I mean, that story standpoint. Entertainment value. Uh, I'm enjoying it. I like. I like certain parts, like when episode two, when they were with the therapist. I thought yes. that was sure. pretty funny. Just, sure. It has kind of a, it has a bits and buddy I mean, type vibe. So, right? WandaVision by episode two or three, you're the. Was oh, miles ahead of this. Right? Episode, <laughs> yes. episode three, you start to see little, like, right. oh, little, little things. Right? Yeah. It's like, oh, what is that? Oh, what is that? They gave us so, so, like, they gave so much. Right. Intrigue okay. with WandaVision. Right. We've got but commercials got, like, we can't figure out. I mean, we don't like, know what's happening. What seconds of intrigue with WandaVision? No. But it was we'll, enough to say, like, I have to watch the next we'll episode. We'll see what right. happens. And this is what I'm saying. Four. What happened last episode? I don't remember. They walked around and beat some people up. Oh, yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> we'll see what happens in episode four for me. <laughs> okay. Because that's when WandaVision really took off. <laughs> I'll me. give you credit. Now, so this episodes? one's only six, yes, I think. That's what I'm saying. Right. It's short. It's got to get real good and real fast. It needs to go way faster with being halfway done. Yeah. I don't think enough 
stuff has happened. No, episode I, one, I, great. I loved it. Flying through canyons, blowing stuff up. That was, like, pretty, that was pretty fun. Introducing See, the characters. Uh, we're just not on the same page. <laughs> episode one was the weakest. Oh, uh, like, what? That <laughs> opening segment, I was like, this is way over the top. I can't buy into this. This is just. That's bad. why I watch Wow. Movies. <laughs> I don't know. Everything's weird. Yeah, but the that. squirrel, like their squirrel costumes that are like flying through the cool. air, those yeah. are pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. those. I, now I will say I like, need uh, his black or not his uh, what's the top of the hawk red hawk called? yeah I need yeah. to come back yeah where, where they I will come. say that smashed. I love Black Panther so seeing that cameo Ty right Anderson. at the end yeah. I was like yeah. I'm coming back to watch y'all yeah. better do this right because <laughs> they all they just learned to do it for no reason right so is it gonna take a whole season for him to get the shield. Is he getting, he's gotta be. You know he's getting it back? It's he's getting be, it back. It's supposed to be a cinematic type experience. So essentially, we're watching a movie over six episodes. I understand that. So by the end of it, the shield by the middle of the movie. Something. What is up with the new Captain America guy? Terrible. It, it is weird. So <laughs> yeah, when they first terrible. showed him, I was like, are they trying to make it look dopey? No yes. offense to the actor, but why are his ears like poking out of the yeah. helmet? <laughs> what is yeah, going on with that mask? He, yeah, he's goofy. Fix that. Co it's put it inside. Like, he looks okay without the mask on, yes, but then right. when he is like, dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> there was a part of me that was kind of sympathizing in a mm -hmm. way with like the the flag smashers. Like I was like, okay, and they definitely get... set them up as like legitimate until but... the moment when she bombs the building full of people tied up inside. Then Correct. I was like, okay, Never I don't care about you at all. Is she okay. the same? She's the same actress person as the one as... from yes. Star Wars. No, yes. or Emphasis. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Uh, yeah, someone yeah, asked about our next live show. Our next live show is going to be Thursday night. Um, I'm probably around, probably around 7 p.m. Eastern time. We're gonna be mandala playing. stones. Yes, yes. So from, from board and dice. Yep, it's a abstract strategy game. Yep. So definitely join us for that. And someone didn't know that uh, Mighty Ducks had three movies and a TV show. Whoa. So I'm here to help You're you. You're welcome. Here whoa. to help you. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> Mighty Ducks Two is so good. It no is good. so yes. good. Yeah. We yep. that on the show for the kids. All right, so are we going to go eat some cake? Let's do it. Happy Yay! birthday. Thank you guys for joining us. See you all. See ya. I was going to like, cast together with the computer. <laughs>